Hi, I'm Charmin, and I go to the beach every chance I get. I'm usually sharing a beach walk with you, but today we're going to talk about cleaning some of the goodies you might have found at the beach, like the five-hole keyhole sand dollar. I'm going to use bleach to clean up four sand dollars of different quality, and then just for fun, I'm going to throw a couple of shells with green on them in there too. I'll also share how I seal my sand dollars to make them a little bit stronger, so let's find out how to clean and seal sand dollars. So on a recent trip to the beach, I did happen to find four different sand dollars and they were all of varying quality. This one is probably the lowest quality one that I found. It's discolored, it's been around for a while, but I did kind of want to compare the results to different quality shells. Now this next shell is in a little bit better condition. It's not quite as dark, it doesn't have any barnacles on it. So we'll see how that guy cleans up. And then finally this one. This one was probably the best quality one of the four that I found that day. So I am going to bleach and seal all of them and we'll just see how they all turn out. So here are the four sand dollars that I found. Again, varying quality. The size does not matter. I find that if they're cleaner when you find them, they tend to clean up the best and that one is the cleanest one I have. And I did find some angel wings that had some green on them. So since I was bleaching, I wanted to throw them in too and we'll see what happens with those. So you're gonna start out with a bucket, any kind of container and about a gallon of water. It's not exact, but around a gallon of water. And then I'm gonna add some bleach. I picked this up at Walmart, should be easy enough to find, just regular old bleach. And I'm gonna splash in about a quarter of a cup, again, it's not exact, it's gonna be okay if you put a little bit less or a little bit more in there. And I let them soak for about an hour. I don't want them to soak too long because I am afraid that the bleach will weaken the sand dollars. So I give them about an hour and they cleaned up really, really great. Now there is one that is still a little bit dark, this one, and I could in theory bleach it longer, but I don't want to because again, I am afraid it's going to weaken it and it will in turn break, which is not what I want. Now the angel wings came out great. Little bit of color on the barnacles, but those can get picked off with like a dental pick or something tiny, but real happy with the way those angel wings came out. And the sand dollars cleaned up nice for the most part as well. Now again, they started with different quality, so we're probably going to get a little bit different quality. Um, with all of them as an end result, but let's see what they look like when they're dry. Okay, so these are now dried and they came out really good. The angel wings I'm done with. I've bleached them. We're not gonna look at them. We're not gonna bother them anymore. We're now just gonna concentrate on those sand dollars. Now the ingredients that you're going to need, I use aluminum foil. You can use parchment paper or wax paper, any kind of substrate that will not stick to the actual sand dollar once you painted it with glue. That is another ingredient you're going to need. I'll show you what I use, just white glue. You're going to mix that with water and then finally you're going to use a paintbrush to apply the mixture to the sand dollars. So again, I am using Aluminum foil because it's easy. It's pretty much everybody has aluminum foil. It seems to work best for me. I had tried with paper and it did not work. So that's when I decided to go ahead and use something that the sand dollars and the glue will not stick to. So I am going to use aluminum foil. The next thing you're gonna do is make your glue water mixture. I tend to do this often, so I save the mixture in a container. And the mixture, it's just a one to one ratio. However much glue you have is however much water you're gonna add. I had Elmer's glue, so I just filled the container with halfway full of the glue and then filled up the rest with water. So I get a one-to-one -one mixture. Once you do that, you mix it really, really well to make sure it's kind of homogenous. It's all mixed together. There we, that's what it should look like. 
and then you're just going to paint that mixture onto the sand dollars. Now, I've been told you can do many layers. I only do one layer because I don't like if the sand dollars start looking kind of shiny. I like that they're matte, that they're naturally matte, and they do really absorb this mixture quite well. Now, I don't put too much on it because I don't want to fill in the little holes of the sand dollar. That's kind of why I'm kind of stabbing at the, uh, the sand dollar with the brush because I don't want those holes to get filled in. So I'm careful to cover it, but not fill in those little holes of the sand dollar. Now, once you've completed one side, you're gonna to wanna to wash out your brush because you don't wanna wreck it. It will get dried and gunky. So every time in between these painting sessions, I clean that paintbrush. So then once that one side is dry, you just flip it over and do the same process all over again on the other side. Now, again, you may choose to put more than one layer on your sand dollars. I like them to kind of stay as natural looking as possible. So I really only use one layer, one on the front and one on the back. So now they've dried and let's take a closer look at how these all turned out. That guy is the one that was in the worst condition when we originally got it. And I think it has character. I think it's just fine. And the other ones cleaned up really nice. That third one was the cleanest one. So that ultimately cleaned up the best, but I think the other ones cleaned up great as well. Especially when you consider what they look like when we started. So with that all in mind, I think they turned out pretty good. So that is how you clean and bleach sand dollars. Now, just in case you were gonna ask me how I display them, this is what I do with my sand dollars. I clean them, I seal them, and I put this in this little shell-shaped, I guess you'd call it vessel of a sort. And that's how I display them, to keep them ready to sell to somebody or use in a craft or give away as a gift. So thank you very much for coming along with me. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do have Patreon, so I would like to thank you for your support. You guys are the best. And let me know what you thought. Have you tried this? Are you going to try this? Do you have any other questions? Just leave me a comment and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching. And consider subscribing because every week I bring you a new virtual shelling video.